Good morning and welcome. Good Thanks morning. for having Thank us. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Happy to have you on Good Morning Texas. Kevin, you co-produced uh, the movie yes. at Night School. Yes. But I have to give a little background here. Will, you and wrote it, and Will, but you have co-produced many or produced many of Kevin's past movies. Some this of his is biggest our hits. seventh movie together. Well, Number seven. Why? What makes the relationship so special? What makes that partnership That's work? That's a good question, Will. Why don't you go to tell it? I prop him up. <laughs> That's what it is. I, I make him look up. good. That's, That's what, you know, That's behind good. every... <laughs> on screen talent, there's somebody behind the scenes making all the right decisions. It's just like a marriage. Yeah, I'm telling you. Well, you know what? It's definitely not like that. Uh, what, it, what it honestly is, you're, you're looking at two individuals that understand and get each other. You know what? Uh, there's, there's moments where I have to take my hat off and give it to Will. When it comes to knowledge and understanding of, of development and, and making a movie and doing it correctly and understanding how to make it work, mm -hmm. this guy knows what he's doing. I mean, from the films that we've done, Think Like a Man, To Ride Along, About Last Night, Wedding Ringer. We yep. have a lot of success. And what I did was basically take the system that he showed me and I implemented it into my own and built a production company. And now you're looking at partners. We're partners and we teamed up with Universal. Awesome. Let me tell you, the thing I give Kevin, not a lot of actors are willing to do the hard work that it takes to go behind the scenes to get a project financed and developed mm -hmm. and marketed and everything. A lot of times actors just say, listen, give me my check, tell me where I got to go, and I'll go and promote the movie. That's not Kevin. That's Would you say you, you learn from each other? A hundred percent. Well, you learn more from me if well, we had not, to that's just. Not, that's you not know, I don't think that we on need the to, producing I don't think side. we need to put a number on it. But if we if we if we did, it would okay. probably sway more to my side. Just with who's learning yeah, from your me. side. Yes, yeah, of yeah. course. Okay. I'm so, a talent. The star is always right. I really, I really, I really like the stars movie. Right. It was funny, but it was also I thought very genuine. As the mom of a kid with a learning disability, it really resonated with me. Did either one of you have learning disabilities in school? Was that the genesis of this at all? Um, no, we, we, we didn't personally have them in school, but we found a way to make a movie that could appeal to so many, um, and in a different way. You know, I think today in Hollywood, it's, it's very hard to be new. It's very hard to come with something fresh mm -hmm. as far as content, because everything has been done mm -hmm. and redone. So within this case, we said, how do we make it special? How do we make people grab gravitate towards it and take a gem away from it. And the best way to do that was to go in the the world of education, you know, to put him though an adult in a position where he realizes his flaws and that he got away through a large portion of his life by beating the system. And now he's faced with a uh, situation that he can't avoid. He has to go back and get his diploma. But in getting the diploma, you realize why he had the trouble in high school because he avoided what was a problem. And that problem was the learning disabilities. And the reason why these things become a problem is because so many so many kids are afraid to communicate about it. That's right. So many kids that's are right. afraid to or open up. Or they're misunderstood. Be that's correct. Exactly. The it creates says, insecurities. Oh, you're just lazy. Exactly. Yeah, and so or now whatever. they play into that. Kevin's character, he's hiding the fact that he's got something that he's insecure about, and the way that he hides is that he pretends to be somebody else. And so his character has to come full circle and admit, you know what? This is who I really am, mm -hmm. and it's okay. Be who you are, and people will accept you. And if you've got a kid with a learning disability, you know exactly what they're talking but about. But I also That's think that sure. this movie is going to kind of help start that conversation also. It's not a matter of not being intelligent, as kind of a, the movie may have started, uh, but it's more of, hey, this is an issue that we should address, and it is okay. And you know what? Another thing that we really highlight, it's a movie about second chances. I've been saying that's this right. for quite some time. You know, the whole night school idea is something that's frowned upon by some. And the reason why is because we feel like, oh, man, I didn't get it right the first time. I'm not trying to go back to school and deal with that again. Mm -hmm. I'm not going back. And you treat the second chance as if it's a bad thing. Ultimately, it's a better thing. And you're looking at a group of people in this film. By group, I'm talking about the cast. I'm talking about my classmates, Tiffany Haddish as well, who acts as the teacher, who band together and motivate and inspire one another to get out of this situation. And that piece of paper gives us the confidence that we can go on and be better. And each one of them has a different issue that they're dealing with that they get a second chance on, but they all have to face Tiffany Haddish. What's going on, Carrie? Why we in a ring? What's the square root of 81? What? What's the square root of 81? I don't know. What you doing, bro? What's she like behind the scenes? Uh, behind the scenes, look, <laughs> Tiffany is a completely different person than what you just saw. Uh, <laughs> Tiffany, <laughs> Tiffany and I have a very unique relationship, but I, I love her, man. Tiffany's amazing. She deserves all the success and accolades that are coming her way right now. We were lucky to get her in this film. She blew this character out of the water, and I like it for her because it shows a different, a different side of acting. You know, in right. Girls Trip, you saw her be one side of a character, and in this one, you get to see it be a different 
different version, a more subdued version, and give you glimpses of that person that you want to see, but she acts as the backbone for a lot of our movie, and that's what you need. I, I, I like the, the ping pong effect that she and I have. Oh, I think that she gives you a taste of your own medicine sometimes. I 100%. like it. Oh, <laughs> I, mean, absolutely. I like it yourself, Kevin, to get me wrong, but I was like, oh, she's got spitfire. It's fun yes. to watch them go toe-to-toe, -to -toe. <laughs> absolutely, and they do go toe-to-toe -to -toe throughout this movie. Hey, speaking of the cast, let's mention a few of the other very funny cast. We have uh, Rob Riggle, yes. Taryn Killam, Romney Malco. Yep. Um, was it hard to get everybody together and actually be serious and take like a serious take? Or was it a bunch of just like, you know, guys, wing it, give it a shot, and it's going to be great? You know, what's good when you got somebody like Kevin at the center is that all the energy kind of revolves around him. Once we had Kevin at the center, to have talented comedians around him, they would go as far as Malcolm and Kevin would let mm -hmm. them go. Cool. And by the way, that was a lot. There was a lot of free range. That's the way they kind of run the set, and they were allowed to have a lot of fun ad-libbing and letting it flow. It feels very fluid. There you go. Yeah. And I mean, look, to make a movie like this successful, you need a team. Uh, everybody brought a different level of funny, and we found a unique way to ground it, which I think is really special. So you walking out of theater saying, wow, I related and I mm -hmm. understood because I'm dealing with this. You say, oh my God, it was so funny, and I laughed, but I understand it. It brings awareness to this. It's mm -hmm. That's what we want. Okay, so you mentioned basketball. Yes. And you've got a show. Larry, where are you right now? Uh -oh. Larry, there you go. Okay. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. You've got a show called Cold as Balls, yes, which I is do. absolutely <laughs> hilarious. Yes, I do. You get in a tub of ice yes. with somebody else, and you guys do an interview. <laughs> yes. So I want to ask you, are you a Mavericks fan or a Cowboys fan? Uh -oh. Okay, well, that's, a great, that's, a, that's, uh -oh. a, that's a great question. <laughs> now, before I answer this question, I want to I wanna tell Dallas two things. First and foremost, uh -oh. uh, this is going to go bad, guys. This, this is, is an amazing city. <laughs> Let me tell you something about this city. The people, the people are some of the He's best people this is called I've qualifying. ever been around. And not He's, only that, not right. only that, not only that, the economy here shines, and it shines for Kevin. a reason. That's not okay. what she asked you, Kevin. Kevin. I'm gonna tell you, let me she tell asked you, you about sports. Let me tell you something. This is you, so they really, love their cowboys really here, Kevin. Stars. You got to understand where stars come from. Cities like this. Would be my answer. <laughs> uh, yeah. So with that being said, I don't, think it's about, I don't think it's about am I a fan. I think it's more about what do I look at and envy? I envy what you guys have here. And that's <laughs> that. That, that <laughs> is the answer. That, that is talent, everybody. Is, Great is, job. Is much more important. Great well done. Job. He's a yeah. politician. Yeah. Yeah. That, that is, is evasion. That's the yes. highest level. That, the ultimate evasion. That is me. At the very highest level. As a matter of fact, I see a lucky fan right there. You, you take this ball. Come here, because you're a Dallas. That's what you do to people in Dallas. That fan deserved that ball right there. <laughs> that, that right there, well that was done. a three-pointer. That's, yeah, that's that, what you just did was a three-pointer. <laughs> Well done. Uh, and I you're going to be here for Irresponsible. Yes, yes, in, I'm coming back. In uh, a couple weeks? Yes, Is I'll that be right? Here. Yes, so you're what will people right. get a taste of? You're going to get to see me uh, in another another lane. Uh, I'm a guy <laughs> that, uh, that wears many, many hats in this entertainment business. Everybody that knows me knows I'm a comedian first. I love stand up comedy. My Irresponsible tour is doing amazing. And uh, Dallas, I can't wait to bring it here. Full fledged yeah. production. You're going to be comedy here at the highest level. so much. I think you might actually become a uh, Mavs and a Cowboys fan. Well, How about that? Maybe. You know what? How about you that? know what? Yeah. You know what I'm really excited about? <laughs> tell me that I get possible. to perform where the Mavs play. And let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you something. Tell me about that. here what the fit, real quick though. What the fit? Minute. What the fit is another. Uh -huh. yeah. Another. Hat. One thing I noticed, uh, uh, you're very, what very. What the fit, fit is a, a show that I do on uh, on YouTube, and I share the content with my Laugh Out Loud network. It's a very, very funny show where I take my celebrity friends and I put them in situations that they may or may not have ever been in that involve physical fitness but these aren't your uh, traditional I guess you could say <laughs> workout situations I I take them to farms I, I take them uh, and we we've been firemen firefighters for a day me and Conan as you're seeing now we were sumo wrestlers for a day oh, wow. I literally do any and everything just to show uh, how wide of a range physical fitness can be yeah, I love you it you do it all yes you I do, do it all. I, actually, well, I really do here in you're Dallas. Fabulous. you know Thank who else does so it all yeah Dallas that's <laughs> right that's what we're going to I wish we had like a Cowboys or a Mav jersey <laughs> just to gift I him. He loves the city okay? so much. I want to let everybody know when they can go and see Night School starring Kevin Hart right here in Tiffany Haddish. It opens in theaters nationwide on September 28th. Here's the website for more information. It's nightschoolmovie.com.